Hello guys. Oh no. Minutes okay. No. 74th. Nine nine nine. Aga la aga la aga. Start kare. These days, I'm sure many people only fall for the luxurious life we see outside. Have enough money to not rely on your parents. Every woman should gain a financial freedom in her life. It's good for people who are middle class. What about the non-working ladies? We have to save the money for the future benefit. Hi guys, my name is Namita Pandey, and I welcome you all to yet another video of freedom. And today we have got you really something interesting. And today we are going to talk to a few people and understand what do they understand by the term financial freedom. Now we are all well aware that this week we are going to celebrate our seventy fourth Republic Day. Now let's understand from the general public what do they understand when we say financial freedom. So let's go and hear it out from them. Currently, we are running a campaign on financial freedom. So, can you just give us a bite on what do you understand by financial freedom? I mean, the basic thing that I know about it is that you have enough money to not rely on your parents. Right. Um, I think it's to be able to earn how much ever you can by doing something that you can do or you can excel and you can support yourself. Financial freedom, ability to do whatever we want means for a woman, financial freedom is most important, and I think every woman should gain a financial freedom in her life. Financial freedom, in the sense, uh, it completely changes uh, our livelihood, and uh, and it is good for people who are uh, middle class. Freedom to purchase anything, freedom to buy anything, anything perhaps. So what do you what is, what does it mean to you when you say I'm financially free? For obviously, on this planet, everyone wants to be happy as a financially as a support because it's uh, I mean you are more you have a if you when you are uh, financially supportable you are more relaxed like enjoying you are giving your priority to your family when you are financially support you have even family background also. The actually I'm a retired person. So what do you understand when we say financially free? Financially free means you want them to get employed. Financial freedom means uh, spend the money uh, whatever uh, in which the way, way you want to mm -hmm. want to uh, this one. Mm -hmm. But that is not the correct way. Mm -hmm. That is not the correct way. So we have to save the money, you know. Mm -hmm. We have to save the money for the future benefit. So we have to save the money, not uh, save the money and invest the money. Uh, financial freedom means uh, what we are earning from the salary or other sources of income. We have to uh, save some amount of money, uh, money towards the future uh, future provisions. Uh, from that, uh, when we retired, you know, retired or uh, from the out of the service, then that money will be utilized for the purpose of future. Uh, future. For example, medical expenses, other uh, outings, uh, and also marriage, uh, marriage for children's. Uh, a future that is a future provisions so this is yet another message to for the youth who are earning right now who is working or maybe they have started their own business freedom app let me tell you gives you n number of investment ideas if you do not know how to invest your money or save your money or to do whatever with your money freedom app teaches you how to grow your money 10x so do download freedom app so now let's move on and listen to other people Hi, this is Chitra. Um, financial freedom for me, it is uh, like uh, independently you can live by yourself without asking money for any help. At least basic necessity, basic necessity you can fulfill by yourself. So I think whether man, woman, male, female, uh, everyone should be financially independent. They should work hard. They should stand by themselves. Uh, this is my financial independence. So thank you. Financial freedom is basically like what I understand from it is uh, basically one has the freedom to spend his or her money and no one has any restrictions. I mean, from parents it may have, but that is different, so. Okay, my name is Raghavendra. Uh, I'm an investment banker. Financial freedom is earning on your own and standing on your own foot. So that's what I believe what is financial freedom. Uh, it just gives you the liberty to spend uh, to your needs, looking after the family, 
as well having a con convenience you know for day to day activities and a bit of money to spend for activities like this or or going on holidays and things like that so that's what i think it's simple as a simple uh, this one i'll tell you financial freedom so we have if we have our own uh, job we will have our financial freedom or business the basic thing i'll say is getting a sanitary pad i should not ask my father or my brother to get a sanitary pad so getting the basic things is my financial freedom that's it. yeah definitely madam definitely when i've got walking or other things i will ask to invest in uh, by the, this one uh, ssy schemes senior citizen schemes and also in uh, other schemes or mutual funds also mutual funds earnings will be around 10, 10 to 12 percent post office earnings around below 8 percent huh so where there is risk is there in the money market risk is less in the post office other things so we have to safeguard the money yeah that is most important you achieve financial freedom yeah of course uh, i am uh, 100% achieved and uh, right now achieving also and yet to reach uh, more and more the heights yeah it takes some time right everyone have their own goals so it takes over a period of time so as of now i am happy with what i am doing but still a long way to go so would uh, just one message to the youth who would start their financial freedom or who do not know what do what is financial freedom what would you say about that the if you are means we, that is the freedom but we have to invest that is that is that is the restriction ha mm. uh, they will they don't want to think about that they have to think for the future for example if you go somewhere in immediately if want money mm. if you are in the bank money in the bank we can immediately with right you know ha mm. uh, so to attain the financial freedom first definitely you have to be good at your curriculums mm. so post that only you will be able to uh, reach your goals and stand on your own foot and can whatever you wish to someone will be having uh, they they would like to explore the globe so for that you require money so for that definitely you have to first be good at your curriculums so that you can uh, do the job whichever you require to and the companies also will prefer if you are good at curriculums so if you study well obviously enjoyment will go parallel both should go hang and on uh, hand on so you should study well and uh, parallelly you should enjoy your life as well so that's what i can give message to you thank you so now we have understood from the general public what do they understand by the term financial freedom now let me tell you we are running a campaign called financial freedom for all of us now this is the campaign that we are running for throughout the week and we want to educate people and create this awareness about financial freedom so in the upcoming episode let's understand from our ceo mr c s sudhir what exactly is financial freedom so let's quickly move to the next episode until then just stay tuned and do subscribe to this channel thank, thank you, you so